Hey Exiles, how are we doing? Mr. A2G, back again playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? Apologies for not uploading during the week. Um, I just wanted to try some different games and I thought I'd just um, take a minor rest with this uh, with Saga. But however, um, we just got a new video that just came out on the developer Facebook page and it wouldn't be right if I did not post about it. So we're going to talk about it today. So... Basically, 1.13 is close, and from what I'm th um, from where, what I'm seeing, close, it's close uh, to the point where I've actually been um, pestering uh, the moderator. Um, so, uh, so Snake, if you are watching this, I apologise, mate. Um, I just want to get the right content out to the good people here, so they know what's happening uh, with the new update that's hap uh, that's about to be released. So. Um, but look, kudos to you for keeping, um, you know, tight, well, sorry, remaining tight lipped on it. So look, I know you don't want to leak any info, uh, information out. So totally, uh, respect that. And hopefully you guys watching do as well. So hopefully, you know, in the next few days, hopefully during the week, we should get the new update and we'll be able to take full advantage of it and get right into the swing of things. So update 1.13 so we we got a teaser it's on the facebook page now fortunately i can't put a video together um along with this video today so that i do apologize about best thing to do what that i'm going to do is i'm going to link it somewhere in the description so you guys can go right to it have a bit of a look see what you think so you get a better understanding about what i'm talking about with that so uh with that in mind guys um so a new feature was teased and it's got to do with the um, with the auto button. So for the longest time we've had this and it's been a massive pain. For me, I know, but for a lot of people um, it has or it hasn't or you guys haven't been too fussed about it. So they're changing that. So come with 1.13, we're gonna have the ability to auto battle. So complete auto mode will be available from 1.13, oh, sorry, 1.13 I should say. Uh, so with that, uh, we will have the ability to not only just um, do the automatic, uh, uh, sorry, resource grab, but also automatically um, kill enemies at the same time. So as you, so usually we cannot do that, and unfortunately it's been like that for the longest time. So it has been a bit of an annoyance for a lot of people. So now. Uh, we will have that unique ability. So it look it does bring it in line with a lot of other survival games that do currently have that and I'm not going to go into the naming of who and which because um, I'm sure you guys would know you know up you know more or less till now if you guys have played this type of genre of game you guys would know you know other games that do have that automatic feature for you know literally anything. So when it's auto it's auto. So you can basically you know sit it down on the table being your phone and let your player run through, do what he or she needs to do, and that's it. I mean, obviously, you've got to sort of check in it, uh, check in from time to time. Just make sure that you know you're, you've got you know a sufficient weaponry, armor, health, all that sort of stuff. But if you're if you're that type of person that really likes you know automatic um, mode, then yeah, this will be an awesome update for you. Some people might decide against it, which is fine. You know, it's not for everyone. Some people would just like to clear out the zone first of all the uh, enemy threats and then just hit that auto button and then away you go. So up to you how you sort of want to play it, but that's basically what's been teased throughout the video. But that wasn't the only thing that was teased. So what has happened is if you definitely go and have a look through the Facebook um, video, Again, link will be in the description. Check it out. There's some subtle notices, okay? So there's a little combat. Um, so there's, uh, I wouldn't say a combat system change upgrade, but where you got your scroll here, there is a like a little quest line um, attached to it. So as, as I said, when you guys see it through the video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and what to look out for, but it'll be where the little scroll is just under my avatar there. So basically that just gives you a little bit of um, information there, what, um, what type of event that you're uh, currently in, or you can cycle in between um, you know, events like a shortcut um, just by the initial appearance of it. So 
Um, I want you guys to let me know what you think about it once you've seen it down in the comment section down below. Uh, that's what I'm theorizing that this will be. Um, look, I could be wrong. It could be something completely different, but that's my initial uh, impressions on it. And then where, whoop, let's just get rid of this spider first. And then the faction system here, another little, um, a little change that I noticed was there's a little um, timer. So like in a little transparent highlight, uh, just above the little badge icon there, and it tells you, you know, how many hours is left before the um, the faction ambassador leaves or whether it become, whether, when they'll be arriving. Either way, um, I'm guessing it's going to be for either way, well, either way at this point. But aside from that, they're the other little uh, notable changes that I noticed through the video. And then finally we get to um, a new NPC. So if you sort of noticed it before, there was a golem just like this one. But it was a lava golem and it did actually say lava golem and I'm going to throw up an image on the um, on the screen here as well and this will sort of um, you know uh, illustrate my point as to what we're looking at as well so we got this over a month ago and these were new NPCs that were um, you know ready to come into future updates now at that time they were looking at it for I think it was 1.12 at the time but then they obviously pushed it back so it looks like we're going to get it in 1.13. So you can see the, the lava golem in the middle. And then you've got the spider queen, I believe it was called at the time when we when I spoke about it. And then you've got the um, the ice variant of the golem. So I'm going to call it an ice golem at, uh, for now, until otherwise. And then you've got, um, looks like, I think it was a goblin leader and a couple of little upgrades to um, goblin NPCs. Uh, to sort of carry out the rest of the um, the characters that we did see in that screenshot there. Oops. So basically, that's what we've got to look at at the moment. Um, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this upcoming update. It has been a long time coming, and we've been very, very patient. And for me, I've actually been impatient about it. Um, and I know I'm probably not everyone's favorite under the Discord community, especially in the Korea haters room. But... I mean, I want to get content out to you guys and I want to tell you upfront what's happening as soon as I know something that I'm allowed to say something, of course. Um, so there's, you know, there's obviously certain things that we can and can't do. Uh, but for the most part, this is what we've got so far. I, so I wanted to go into it a little bit and dissect it just a little bit and just give you guys a bit of an idea of, um, you know, what is what looks like or what is expected to come, hopefully during the weeks. So... If we're lucky, um, I believe they, they might be at the point that they're nearly ready to release it. So whether or not they've submitted um, the game into both application stores, so iOS and Google Android, and we're just waiting for the standard um, approval from each respected app store to give us, um, oh, sorry, to get the update released into the system. So we may get it on Monday. We may get it on Tuesday, Wednesday. We don't know yet. So... Hopefully it'll be next week and hopefully we start to get um, get to playing it straight away. So another thing, <coughs> excuse me, another thing I wanted to sort of touch on as well, that it was in a, the, where you saw the lava golem there, it's in a different sort of dungeon location. It's more of a molten lava aesthetic and look. Now, we don't know where that's going to be located, if they're going to redo any of, some, um, any of the underground areas. Are they going to add a new one in? I'm not too sure. Uh, that was the other thing I wanted to bring up as well. Um, or will it be part of the dungeon levels? Now, that was another thing I was thinking about as well today after I saw it. Will this be one of the levels? I'm not too sure. Will it be like a bottom level or just an initial level? Who knows? Um, that's, that's what I'm theorizing here at the moment. Like I said, everything's going to be revealed once the update comes. But they did say something interesting as well at the end. And that they said was, that's just the beginning. So we are expected to get more from this update. So from what they're saying, it's the tip of the iceberg, guys. So hopefully we will get um, more for what we've asked. It has been quite some time since the last update did come. So... And the fact that the current update was a partial update in the lead up to this one here. So 
I'm hoping they're going to gear this up and it's going to be a massive, massive update for us. And we can, yeah, and we've got a lot of playable content to, you know, um, keep us going for a little while longer whilst they, you know, put something up later on in future. That's what I'm hoping. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section down below about what this update means, what you think will, what it will mean, what do you think it's going to come out um, in addition to what's been shown. Let me know in the comments, guys. If you guys are new, are new as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff so you don't miss out on any additional content that I put out on my channel. And make sure you like the video, guys, if you enjoyed uh, what you've seen today. Anyway, with that out of the way, um, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. So teaser for 1.13 coming at you, hopefully very soon. Anyway, so I think I might just clear off the rest of the zone here. We'll go down. I'm in the need of um, clay bars. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And um, anthracite, not so much, but more clay, if anything, and a bit of iron. So the more that I can get, uh, the better. So I figured I might just take you out to the Rocky Spies today. So at least we can, um, you know, have a bit of this, uh, a bit of a chat, sorry. And also, yeah, I'll grab some raw materials we are in the xp challenge as well my guys are doing quite well at the moment so had some i had a couple of plays um leave got some new plays in so oh full stack all right i'll take that uh so you know it is what it is life goes on so yeah, so we're nearly halfway. We've still got another two days on this, so which is good. I'm hoping that we can get the level one um, armor here. So the standard reward. Um, it's over 800,000 experience, so it is quite a tall order. But if you guys, um, you know, are watching that, yeah, look, guys, help out. If you guys haven't participated yet, make sure you guys do. Um, at least get minimum requirement. Anyway, let's get into the bottom half here. Want to get some seeds um, and fresh herbs as well. So I have been running through um, a lot of the uh, grottos and on average I'm getting at least five to six seeds and um, fresh herbs. Either, either way, it's either six seeds, five herbs or five seeds, six herbs. So you're getting about 11 there, but don't forget when you plant those seeds, uh, in the till field there, you're going to get a lot more um, for it as well. So it's literally two fresh herbs by one seed. So I feel like that's a really good, um, uh, uh, you know, return. So, you know, for your, for your troubles and things like that, I guess. But the other use I want to use the, um, the herb seeds for is I want to get some nature cores because there's a few of my workstations that do definitely need some upgrades, but I need nature cores. Uh, just to do it so just to upgrade so that's been a bit of a pain and trying to craft up nature cores is a very demanding uh, resource so you do need a lot of items and they go so there's there's only so much that you can do before you got to run out and do some more resource runs so yeah that's basically it with that Oop, why did you miss there we go what else have we got? Okay, so a couple more of these guys. Take you out. And we've got... Oh, no, he's still coming. Crawl back a little bit. There we go. Come here. Okay. And, okay, put you to sleep. Nothing interesting. Keep moving on. Here's his other friend. Uh, I think I'll go up here. And whoop. There we go, before he got me. <coughs> there we go. And let's get the rest of everything. There should be another one there. Yes, there is. Okie dokie. I really should bring other weapons to this just so I can get these guys defeated a lot sooner and quicker and without uh, wasting too much on the crossbow there but you know what are you going to do 
All right, let's see what we've got in the first chest here real quick. Ooh, perfect. That's what you want. Need that elm. I've actually gotten to that point now, guys, where elm I do need, uh, especially for a lot of my equipment, workstations and things like that. So that has started to become a bit of a struggle for me now. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, yeah, for definitely feeling the, the grind for Elm now moving forward. So look, I get it. A lot of people want Elm right away, but you've got to sort of look at it from another perspective as well. So the, the drop rate of Elm versus the progressional, um, status of each player, you know, it's obviously they're trickling Elm in just to at least sort of stretch out the game and play time. You know, we've got a lot of dedicated players that do play this game quite religiously and they do put a lot of time into it, a lot of hours into playing this game, which is a great thing. You know, it's always a good thing to know that, um, you know, from a developer standpoint that, you know, the game is being played as much as, uh, as, much as it is um, via the type of play, uh, player base that, um, you know, that the game has. But in saying that, if we are getting a lot of elm we're obviously going to be progressing a lot farther further into the um you know into the game so end game you know you, you might come to a point where we're going to peak and that's basically it you know we the, you know we can only wait until an update comes out and there's no new content or renewable things that we could do to progress with the game or obviously keep people entertained so i think that's probably the biggest reason why the trickle effect of Elm will still remain and for a little while longer. Up until the point where the developers feel that there's enough content in the game to, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, distract players in doing other things, then they may, ooh, that's what I, perfect, that's what I wanted. Um, yeah, so that's what I think. So to the point where, you know, once there's enough of content, as I said, in the game, we can obviously see hopefully more elm later on or they might allow an elm tree you know to spawn in ever, ever so often and you get a few more elm pieces you know from time to time um but you know for now they obviously don't want us to peak in the game or progress too far upgrade those workstations because that's the quickest way that we get exp boost and especially for this type of um challenge that we're in uh being the exp challenge um, we want, we, you know, that the developers don't want players upgrading too fast and getting too far into the game without, you know, um, any sort of sense of restraint. So, I mean, unfortunately, it is what it is, and Elm will trickle as it is for for now until something else comes along. But anyway, guys, I've talked enough today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed some of the information that I've shared with you today. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. Uh, like as well, like the video. And if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right, guys, take it easy. We'll catch you next time.